And so for the booked events, this is what we're going to do. We're going to first of all add a button right on the bottom of these divs, which is going to say book now. So let's go ahead and do that. So below this div or rather below this UL, we're going to have a button that says book now. And then when I save it, we should have some text here that says book now. And then let's tell up this button. Give this a class name. Let's say padding y of two, padding x of four, rounded dash large, bg neutral dash 900, and then text white, and then font semi bold. Save that. Let's see what we have. We have that. Fantastic. Let's change this to text neutral dash 600. How does that look? Mm, let's say 400. 400, much better. And then on hover, on hover, we want the BG, uh, BG dash neutral dash 800. Then let's have a transition on all the elements, on all the properties, sorry. So book now, book now, book now. And then let's make the text small. So text dash SM, a bit smaller, fantastic. Now let's add the on click event for this button. So I'm going to say right here, on click, then we're going to say handle book event. So handle book event. And you know what? This is going to be an inline function because we want to access the event depending on the ID. So I'm going to say handle book event and then pass in the event. And then let's go ahead and now create our, our local storage. Is this, this should be event.id? Hmm event.id i hope i remember if we get a bug i hope i remember i added this in so let's go ahead and create our function so i'm going to say function handle book event now this is going to be accessing the event that we have and then inside here what we need to do is we need to check whether the event has already been booked so check if the event has already been booked and then what we're going to do is we're going to say if booked events booked events dot find and we want to find using the synthetic event of e and then we're going to say this we're going to say e dot name meaning the event name is equal to the event dot name and what i use the event name here but i think it's more beneficial if we use the event id because i think multiple events can have the same name so e.id is equal to event.id now when this evaluates to true then i want to say toast.error toast.error and let's remember to import it so control space bar right here and then import it automatically so toast.error and then i say go and say event has already been booked and then we're just going to go, go ahead and say return so that it breaks out of this function and then sorry this should be a small b that should be a small b and then you're going to ask but where does this come from well we need to go ahead and access local storage to check for this so right on top of this i'm going to say const booked events is equal to json dot pass and then we're going to say local local storage dot get item i want to get item called booked events we are really creating it and then if it doesn't exist then we just want to return an empty array as so now so booked event this is booked events with an s so booked events so booked events da, da. so this is not this is now coming from here so booked events and then now still within this function we want to go ahead and now if the event is not booked then book an event so if it is not booked if this evaluates to uh to false then we want the following block to 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 run so i'm going to create a function here called const uh sorry a variable here called const update booked events booked events and then this inside here i'm going to pass in my spread operator meaning go ahead and go ahead and add all the booked events i can't type meaning go ahead and add all the booked events which is coming from here and then also add this one that we have booked right now so booked events and then pass in the event and this event is coming from here and so i'm doing something wrong i'm doing something wrong 
I'm doing something wrong, this the return should be on top. The return should be on top because uh, what I what I notice is that this is grayed out, meaning this is never going to be executed. It says unreachable code. So the the syntax right here, the syntax was wrong. So the return should be inside before this closing block, and then now we can have this. So booked events is going to be that, and then we're going to say local storage dot set item, and then we want to set item called booked events, and then we want to go ahead and say JSON dot stringify. I can't I can't type a dot really. JSON dot stringify, and then we want to go ahead and stringify the update booked events. And then once we have that, then we're going to say toast dot success meaning passing a success message message that says event booked successfully and fantastic now once we have that then let's go ahead and test it out i hope it works save that now book it book now and it says book now and book now hmm i know i know it, it's this one let's move the dot id from there and then now let's say book now book now oops 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 not working hmm. book now book now let's check local storage let's check local storage let's go ahead and say uh sorry not components but application local storage let's go inside and let's find our booked events right here so booked events are this oh wait a minute it booked it it booked the event so dfg which one is that Oh, wait, is that the correct one even? Let's add a third one. Uh-huh. Okay, see how this is updating? See how it's updating right there? So it's updating. Yes, the description has updated. And this one, the description also updates. Then that means that the problem is in our toast why is our toast not showing so event has already been oh you know what we don't have the toast container <laughs> toast container then let's pass in the theme here to colored and then let's pass in auto close to 2000 save that and then now let's see and make sure that you import it on the top i've used auto import that's why i don't need to do that so just say control space bar to auto import it now let's try it again. Book now. Book now. Oops. What is this? Oh, event has already been booked. Okay. Okay. See how this is because we are not using the the CSS file for for the React Toastify. So let's import the CSS file and we're not going to have this issue. So import and it's called React Toastify forward slash dist slash react toastify.css save that and then it's going to reload and then i'll book now and it's going to say event has already been booked and then this one event book su successfully and then if i book it again event book successfully what oops so we have an issue we have an issue so this one says it has already been booked and this one event booked but it's not reloading huh I mean, it's not showing that, uh, what? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Application. Let's go into booked events. Let's remove everything. Remove it. And then the events are already there because the events are these four. So if I say book now, so see how it says event has already been booked even though I've just cleared it right now? I have just cleared it. Where's the booked events? Can't even find it. Reload that. Reload, reload, reload. So events and booked events. Booked events, where's booked events? Okay, increase this. And then increase this massively. And then let's see. So these are events that we have. Now is booked events. It's not even here. Book now says event book successfully, book successfully, successful, and successful. Now, if I try again, it, says, it still says book successfully, but it should say event already booked. 
So there is something wrong with our logic somewhere. Book to is right here. It's appending only one. Yes, it's appending only one instead of appending all of them. See that? So instead of appending them, it's replacing it. Now, why is it replacing it? Let's see. Why is it replacing it? Hmm. Let's see. Update booked events. And then we have booked events. Booked events, comma, event. You know what? I think the problem is right here. I think when I used the ID, let me just try the way I did it originally to see whether that might be the issue. So originally what I did was I said the event e.name is equal to event.name and e.date, meaning the event date, is equal to event dot date meaning when this too much when this matches sorry when this matches and when this also matches then the event has been booked so let's save that let me try it out perhaps that could be the issue let's see so book now okay now it is added and then book now still still not still not happening okay 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 let me figure this out okay i can't seem to find an issue with this so what i'm going to do is i just want to delete all this delete the events as well so that when i reload this then it should be empty and it says no events found because that is our, our error state that we passed in right here so what i'm going to do is i want to add new events and I want to go ahead and add some bit of description. So I'm going to go into random text generator. So add just a bit of description so that we can see. I, I can't really seem to find where the issue is. So let me just grab this text. And then let me say guards. Let's add the event date to this one. Paste it in. Let's say Kenya. Let's say Google. And then create new event. And then let me say tree planting. Let me add the date to that, paste this in, this is Kenya, this is the national, national government, I can't even spell government, so add those two in, and then now if I go into the home page, then I should see our two events, so guards and tree planting, and then now if I say book now, then event book successfully, and then when I say book now again, it should not say that. It should not say that. So this second one says booked successfully and still booked successfully. What am I doing wrong? Hmm. What am I doing wrong? Okay, so I can't seem to find the issue in my app. So I'm going to go inside the repository, inside the original application that I built and then we are building the page JS so I created a separate component for this so components and then event list now let's see so use or what okay so use client I thought I did not add this in use client then da 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 so event list event list okay so use effect. So let me just let me copy. Let me copy this. Copy that. And then let me paste it inside here. And then let's see. What is the diff is there any anything different? I don't think there's anything different. So if there's nothing different inside here then is it the way i'm calling the function this is event list.map and then handle book event what did i use i used i used an arrow function does using an arrow function really make a difference oh this is the one that i've pasted in so i changed it into an arrow function but does it make a difference i changed this up so handle book book event 
so booked events events okay so book now what 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 no 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 gdg let's let's create a new one just to test it out let's create a new one uh, some description there let's say kenya once again let's say google so new event so this is the new event so book now booked successfully and then book now again book okay what so now this one says booked successfully already booked but now this one won't change why oh wait wait a minute i just noticed something i noticed that when i switched the routes and then came back then now it says event already booked huh so there's something happening is it is it the way i was adding things in local storage let's go ahead and confirm that with our new event the new event page let's see so we have use client react justify that da, da, da. we have that 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 we have the event name until the organizer then handle submit e then e dot prevent default then try so try catch then this is the id i used i used the new date version here but we have used the uuid in ours so event name dot error const events is equal to that so const events is equal to json dot pass local story dot get item events and then events dot push new event and then local story dot set item events json stringify events and then we set this back to an empty string and then the success message and then the error dot dot error okay i don't think there's anything different there I don't think so. So on click handle submit. On click handle submit. Okay. Okay. So hmm. I'm thinking it's probably just Next.js that is messing with us. It might probably be what is this? Local storage is not defined. Local storage is not defined local storage booked events local storage is not defined what where is it where is it local storage well, since when do we need to define local storage since when it's a browser api wait which file is this it says in booked events so in app.js reference error local storage i mean hmm. local storage let me see let's do this let me shut this down shut this down let me delete the dot next folder so delete this folder and then let's say npm run dev let's see perhaps that might fix it okay so let's now go back inside here let's reload that let's reload 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 so when it reloads then let's all go into oh sorry let's say book now so booked already booked already booked already and then if i go ahead and check out my local storage application local storage then we should be able to see booked events right here so three of them which are these three okay so what i want to do is this i just want to go ahead and build out the booked events page and then i'm going to worry about this later so what I'm going to do is inside the booked events, let's go ahead and build out this page. So shut this down, close, close. And then now inside booked events and then page.js. So what we're going to do is once again, we need to declare this as a client component. So use client because we want to go ahead and say, we want to go ahead and use, use state and use effect as well. And then inside here, I'm going to create my state values. So const booked events and set booked events this is going to be equal to use state and by default it's going to be an empty array 
Oh, wait a minute. Let's let's check out page JS. Let me check. So it's also an empty area. Okay. So let's go ahead and do this. What we need to do is once again, just like we did, we need to pass in use effect. And then inside use effect, we need this to run once on the initial render. And then we want to go ahead and access local storage. So const events is equal to json.parse. And then we want to go ahead and say ahead and say local storage dot get item get item and we want to get the booked events so booked events and if this doesn't exist we want to add in our pipe there and then we want to say get the empty array and then we're going to say set booked events into the events that we get from local storage and then once we have that then we can render out a fragment and then let's render out a section first of all with oops sec Section with a max width of 7xl. I think I use 6xl and mx auto. What did I use here? I used 6xl, so let's continue that. And mx auto. Let's give it a padding on the y of 10 and a padding on the x of 6. And then inside here, we're going to have an issue that says booked events with class name that says font dash bold and text dash for XL and margin bottom of eight. And then below this H2, we're going to go ahead and say booked events. So you want to check whether booked events actually exist. So dot length, if the length of this, oops, length, if the length of this is equal to zero, then we want to render out a paragraph that says no booked events available. And then this paragraph is going to have a class name of text dash neutral dash 600 dash 600. And then when this is more than one or, or more than zero, really, then we want to go ahead and render out a table. So the way this table is going to be is it's going to have a head as well as a body. So T head is the tag. So T head and then inside here, we're going to have a table row. And then the table row is going to have table details. So this first one is going to be the event name. And then copy this down, I think, four times. So event name, then event date, and then event location, and then event organizer. And then below the T head, we want the T body, which is the body which contains now the details. And then inside the T body, this is where we're going to be mapping over our events. So I'm going to say booked events dot map and then for every event that we're going to have then we want to go ahead and render out a table row so table row once again just like we did and then table details and then this one is going to be event.name so event.name and then copy this down four times this is event.date this is event.location and then event.organizer event.organizer and then this one is going to have a key of event.id. And let's see, <laughs> I think that should be it. Let's save that, let's check out this page. And it says booked events, there we go. Okay, okay, would you look at that? So we have our booked events showing up. Now what we're going to do is we need to style out this header to look a bit better. So inside the header, we're going to give it a width here, width of 100% that it stops looking uh, so ugly and then what i'm going to do is inside this one and this one and this one this one i've added multiple cursors by just clicking and then holding down the alt key so one two three four these ones are going to have a class name of font dash bold font bold and let's see hmm, text large and then padding y of four there we go Okay, and then on this table row, we're going to give it a class name of padding y of two. Let's see, so that it increases the padding there, but it doesn't. I think it should be on the table row as well, so let's remove it from there. Let's do it here and here and here and here. Give it a class name, let's say padding y two. Okay, and then, hmm. Let's see, I want every second one 
to have a slightly different background color so i'm going to give this a class name and i'm going to say that for every even one then the bg should be neutral dash 800 see there we go not let's say 900 to make it a bit darker and then let's do the same thing for the header here this should be the what is it this one give it a class name and let's say bg neutral dash 900 there you go fantastic looking nice 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 so when we add a new event theoretically what should happen is that it should go here first of all and then when we book it it should go inside the booked events so new event let me say like what um what fifa no fifa is not an event uh what's it called world cup <laughs> that tells you i don't really watch football <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. let's go ahead and grab some random text here paste it here and then event location let's say qatar let's say uh, uh fifa is the event organizer let's do that and then it's going to be added here so book now and then inside booked events we have world cup nice 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 looking fantastic okay now i i noticed something with this thing i noticed that when we add a new event like this when you add a new event and then we come ahead and book it so when you book it and then when you book it again it doesn't show you like the state that it's already been been booked right it doesn't show you but then when you go into booked events it shows up and then when you go back home and try to book it then it shows you the error state i don't know how i messed that up so much in this video but not in the original project i don't know how i messed it up so badly but that's what is happening now let me add some bit of padding between uh, in this section so for the this one which should be the home page i'm going to say that for the section it's going to have a padding y of 10 to push it downwards to add a bit of space here as well as a bit of space for scrolling on the bottom and then booked events i think is okay okay now what you can do is you can go ahead and add a button here so that when you click on like on that button then it's going to remove an item from here and then you're going to be able to book it again so that is a challenge that you can do but as far as the project is concerned i think that is going to be the final video and i'm on, i'm also going to create a huge compilation which is going to be one huge video for this entire project in case you want to watch the full video but i think it's going to be a bit long and i think the structured project videos are much better so let's go ahead and create a repository for this now what i'm going to do is this inside my github inside my repositories i'm going to create a new repository here and i'm going to say event creation dash booking dash yt and then create repository and then i'm going to say Control j to shut this down shut it down because we are no longer using it and then let me zoom out there we go and let's close that as well that one nothing is working here okay so inside event creation and booking let's go ahead and copy this link and then let's say get add let me say hmm, how do i want to do this uh, let's see get in it okay and then get add or let me cd into my app folder cd app and then inside my app folder i want to say git add booked dash events and git commit dash m and i'm going to say booked events page and then git add new dash event git commit dash m new event page and then git add globals.css git commit global styles or let me say add global styles and then git add layout.js and git commit and i'm going to say uh, render header and then git add page.js and git commit i'm going to say show show events on home page and then cd out of my app folder and then i'm going to say git add components and git commit dash end and i'm going to say components and then git add package 
star to add both of them and then git commit and i'm going to say install uuid and what is did it did install react toastify yeah toastify and then git add all and then git commit and then i'm going to say initial commit and then git remote add origin and then paste in our link oops and then git push dash u origin main and that should now push it to github so let's wait for it to finish there we go and then reload it and we're going to have that fantastic fantastic so that is going to be the end of this video and i hope you enjoyed it i also hope you enjoyed the project and you can actually use this in your portfolio you can go ahead and deploy it once you finish building and then you can add it to your portfolio of projects so that you can actually show the prospective clients that you actually have knowledge of how to build applications but that is going to be the end i'm trying out a new video like a new type of video where i release project videos one by one instead of just releasing a whole two hour video and it also helps me out because i don't have to record everything all at once and yeah that is going to be the end please subscribe to the channel if you're not ready we have finally reached 6000 subscribers after a very long time so thank you so much for that achievement and yeah see you in the next video where we're going to be building another project